Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your glutton Matt having some McDonald's today. So this will be the second and final time I have McDonald's while I'm here in Japan. I just want to do one more video where I try out everything they have in Japan that they don't have back home. So let's get started because I have some McFlurries and I want to start this before they start melting. Let's have, I don't know which is which, I'm just going to have to start eating them and find out. So there's one guy back here. These are all doubles by the way. I gotta go big or go home. Go go big or go home. So this looks like it's gonna be the spicy beef burger. There we go. So it's got like it's got two beef patties, some lettuce, and looks like some spicy sauce on there. Obviously, the orange sort of gives it away. Not bad, not bad. Not like super spicy. But it's nice to like give it a little kick. <clears throat> give it a little kick. And it's basically there's no cheese on there either. It's basically just a double hamburger with some spicy sauce. Mm. Oh, mm. that wasn't, that wasn't too bad. Let's go on to the next one. So this one I can read, I can see what it says on it. Mm. So it's the Terry, Teddy Yaki Mick burger. So I feel like I'm going to like this one out of the least out of all of them. Just because I wasn't a big fan of the teriyaki burger, the Gohan, the rice burger from my previous video. I didn't really like the way teriyaki went with beef. So there's like two beef. This one, these ones are slightly bigger. So that one, those, the, that first burger I had, the, the patties seemed like they're about the size of the hamburgers and cheeseburgers we have back home. But these ones seem slightly bigger, not quite the size of quarter patties, but slightly bigger than regular patties. Yeah, I still don't know. Mm. It's so saucy too. So like, not only is it like the beef, the patties are covered in teriyaki sauce. There's like mayo on there too. It's just like it's so saucy. Like the last one I had, like that rice burger. Now, actually, I like those rice burgers. It was just the teriyaki one was the only one I didn't like. The teriyaki beef one, at least I should say. That's not as bad. I think I like the teriyaki beef there on that on that one more with the with the with the with the, with the regular buns. I'm trying to say. Yeah, it wasn't terrible this time. It must have just been like. It must have just been like the teriyaki and the beef and the uh, rice, the rice bun all together. Like the combination of it all just didn't work for me. And those rice buns were already like sort of like slippery. So that with like all the sauce on it and stuff, that one burger, it was like that teriyaki beef rice burger was just like so slippery and so saucy. I just like, I wasn't a fan of it. So next is there... I don't know if it should be shaka shaka or shaka shaka because I think you're supposed to like shake it to like shake up all like the dust or the seasoning that's inside there. And then you like, well, if you knew how to do it properly, you like tear it and then it should be like, it should just be like perfect like that. I'm just going to take it right out though. So there we go. It's like a nice deep fried piece of chicken. And they actually give you sauce with it. So I got one cheddar cheese and one red pepper. So let's see how that goes on there. If I can figure out how to open these two. Because you know what? I don't think there's like a little like notch in it. Or I'm just like blind. I cannot see it. Will that work? Oh yeah, there we go. I don't think that was the easiest way to do it, but let's put some of that cheddar. Oh, you know what? 
This is like a dust. I thought that was gonna be like a sauce. So I don't know if like, you were probably supposed to like empty this out into the pack and then shake it. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, definitely for sure. I think I totally screwed that one up. Ever the Baka Gaijin. I'm just gonna like do this and just make a total mess. Who cares? There we go. The cheddar, the cheddar, whatever is on it. Mm. That's not bad. It's kind of weird though. The cheddar on chicken. Like I'm never a big fan of, I'm never a big fan of like having cheese on my chicken sandwiches. I'm like, what do I do with my napkins? Okay. Let's bust into some of these McFlurries before they melt. There we go. So they actually have Christmas themed McFlurries out right now. So this is their Cocoa Cookie McFlurry, I think they called it. Mm. Oh yeah. I'm dripping it all over myself. There we go. I might just polish that off all right, right now. For sure. That was good. I like that. I'm not sure. I'm not so sure if that's as good as a score McFlurry from back home or not. That's still very good. There, that guy is all down. Let's move on to the next. So these are actually gonna be for dessert, so I'm gonna save these for last, so I'll put them back there. Let's start on another burger. So this guy is gonna be, it's actually, these have actually have English on them, so I can kind of read them. So this is gonna be the egg cheeseburger. So it's basically just a double cheeseburger with an egg on it. There we go. It looks like, yeah, that's all it is. So there we go. Double cheeseburger with an egg on top. The classic McDonald's round egg. That is good. That is very good. I never had an egg on a burger until my first trip to Japan. Or maybe it was my second one. Because I think on my first trip to Japan, I was like super healthy back then. So like I never ate fast food or anything before coming to Japan. So I don't think I ate McDonald's on my very first trip. It might've been like on my second or third trip, who knows? But either way, either way, I never had an egg on any, like I've never put an egg on a burger before then. And as soon as I did that, I was like, oh man, that's amazing. Mm. That was actually really, really good. I like that a lot. I don't know why that hasn't caught on more back home. Hmm. Okay. So let's go with these guys. These guys are interesting. So one, this is that's 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 heavy too. Oh my gosh, that's thick. I'm glad I didn't get didn't get eight burgers this time. This by the sauce that's seeping out is gonna be the teriyaki chicken burger. And so it's double patty. So there we go. Double patty chicken teriyaki burger. That thing is like massive feeling. That's a heavy burger. Mm. That's gonna be messy too. That is saucy. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm glad they gave me tons of napkins.
That was a hefty burger, holy. Actually, like, I don't know, like, it was good, but I don't know if it was all that great. I might have actually liked the beef one more, who knows. Okay, I took that out without doing it, so I'm gonna, I wanna do it actually properly this time. So let's actually, like, put the, what, so red pepper dust, I guess, how do you call it, like, dust, maybe? Oh, there, that was actually a lot easier this time. That's crazy. I actually did something well for once. So let's do this. So I imagine you like dump it in there like this. I guess I can get it to go in. Oh yeah, there we go. And then you close it up. And then you like shake it. Well, there we go. That's how I think it goes for sure. And then you pull it. It doesn't look like it worked very well. Mm, I don't know. Does it? Like, I can't tell. Maybe I didn't like. I think I just didn't put, didn't pour out of the thing, the pouch, very well. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna taste it. Maybe it just got very well distributed. <coughs> no. I like that one more than cheddar. One. But you know what I'm gonna do? I think you guys know what I'm gonna do. I just had to try it. And dip it in my McFlurry. Let's try that, guys. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. I should have did that in the preview, the other McFlurry, though, I think. I think it would have been better in that one. This is a... This is a pretzel... Pretzel caramel McFlurry, I think they called it. I think it would have better, been better in the cocoa, cho co cocoa cookie one. Mm. Mm. I'm save a bit of that for these two things. Let's finish off the burger though. This is another pretty big guy. This is a double. This is their shrimp fillet. They call it now. I want. I got to bite into it to really show you guys. Cause just like this, you can't really tell. Do I go? There we go. There's like a little piece of shrimp in there. So there's like little bit, like little shrimp all inside the patties. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that on camera if that'll come up or not, but they're all like in there in the patty. Maybe I'll get to pull another one out. Uh, no, it's just a little piece. So I'm thinking it's going to be really hard to show you guys. But like, close up you can see them. Mm. That's another good one. Starting to get full. But I always have room for dessert. This table is such a mess. I'm gonna have to like wipe it off. I don't I don't think I want to see like the room service people see it. He's gonna come up and be like, oh my god, what's this guy doing in here? Okay. Let's get on to dessert. So these they called San. This is a San Kaku Choco Pie. So it's basically, it's gonna be, oh, I got something stuck in my teeth. It's gonna be a triangle chocolate pie. Basically, San Kaku is triangle, I think, in Japanese. So a triangle chocolate pie. There we go. 
Mm. I'll try dipping that guy too. I got a big burp coming on too. Mm, there we go. That's a lot better. I thought it was kind of funny that I was getting full so easily. Mmm, no. Mm, mm, chocolate just gushed out there. Mmm, that's good. It tastes like brownie. That's really good. You know what? That is a really good dessert. Mm. I feel like I'm making like a complete mess though. I actually got this delivered too. Can you believe it? So this time, instead of like ordering through the app and just going and picking it up myself, I decided to try and get it delivered to my hotel instead. And believe it or not, it worked. It worked perfectly. The guy delivered it right to my hotel for me. And I started eating this before I told you what this one was. So it's not a triangle anymore because I bit out of it. But it's supposed to be a, so this one they called the Songkaku Choco Strawberry Pie. So I'm not sure how it can be strawberry and chocolate at the same time, but I'm just guessing it's a strawberry pie. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> mm. And it only cost me 300 yen to have my McDonald's delivered to me. The McDonald's. I didn't even have to use didn't even have to use Uber Eats or DoorDash or anything. It was McDonald's like own delivery service. That was pretty cool. And I didn't have to tip or anything. And before you accuse me of being a bad person, there's no tipping in Japan. Don't have to tip. The guy would have refused to tip even if I tried to give it to him. Pretzel Caramel McFlurry is all done. And there, I got it all down. I was actually kind of worried there for a second. When I lifted up that teriyaki chicken burger, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's heavy. And then, like, I thought the, the shrimp one was kind of, like, just about the same weight, too. I thought those were going to be, like, really hefty. And fill me up really well. But I got that burp off near the end. And that always helps really, really well. Whew, but that was, quite, that was actually still quite a bit of food. Like, my last video, I was, like, surprised how, like, small the burgers were compared to like what we have back home but like these ones were seem like they're sort of like similar size to like their counterpart their their counterparts back home like oh, I, was, I was chewing on a piece of like the plastic from the cheddar dust i don't know what i'm doing i think i need to go to bed because it's actually really late it's like almost nine o'clock now i waited to eat this well actually i ordered I, so I, I scheduled the delivery for later because I was I thought I might not get back to the to, to my city really late, not get back to my hotel really late. So I didn't want to like risk having it delivered too early and me not being here. So I scheduled it for like really, really late. So it's like almost nine o'clock now. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, so like the the cheese, like the the spicy burger and the ch double cheeseburger with the egg on it, those are like sort of like, those are pretty similar in size to like what we have back home, like double cheeseburgers and hamburgers and stuff. So those are those were actually like all like those were like decently sized burgers. Out of them all, I think I like I definitely like the double cheeseburger with the egg on it the most. That that's really really good. The egg adds a lot to the flavor of burgers for sure. That's something I think think we need to like start get, like that's something I think needs to catch on back home for sure. I know like if you went to McDonald's back home, you probably like you and you asked, they probably would put an egg on it for you. But that should be like something that's like full time on the menu. I think it's really really good. And then the spicy burger was good too. <sighs> 
Well, like I said, that was quite a lot of food. I'm full and it's late and I've had a long day and I probably should be getting into bed soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Give it a like if you did and subscribe to the channel if you aren't. Check out my Instagram if you haven't seen that because I've been posting lots of pictures of my time here in Japan if you're interested in that kind of thing. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Until then, peace out.